Welcome back to As Woo! I Play Dying. Woo! 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 We're just out here steaming in the rain. Yep. <laughs> that famous song and dance. Okay. Those guys know what's up. Yeah. I yeah, that's right. You turn back and stay trapped in that courtyard. I think the tower you're looking for is the other way anyway. That one? Yeah. Okay. Does it have anything to do with this? No. Apparently not. That is a gate to the ocean. So it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you stay out there, ocean. Is it keeping us in or the, the ocean out? Well, it's keeping you in because the ocean could get through that. Good point. Yeah, I don't think you can open any of these iron grates. Mm, that's a secondary defense against the ocean if it gets yeah. into the courtyard. The sea has breached the courtyard! Uh, I don't want that to happen. No, me neither. Hey! A Shreen! Those are useful. Michael Shreen. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> I've seen him on things. Frost Nixon. Oh, yes. Um, Underworld. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was too good for the what movie. <laughs> <laughs> you feel a breeze? Nah. nah. <laughs> Night stuff. They probably don't in that armor. True. Probably breeze free. What the hell? That's a dead person. Oh, it's a dead man. As is that. Oh, it's another dead man. Oh, it's a whole mess of dead men down here. <clears throat> You're basically stealing Amrita from these, uh... Uh, you're you're uh, pulling the memories from that guy. Oh, uh, yeah. how did I not get that? <laughs> yeah. Because their memories are kept in the crystals like you saw earlier. I s oh, yeah, right, because the queen was yep. trapped in one. You wanted to kill him from the start. Man, they're just killing these people. Yeah. This is called world building. <laughs> Ooh. Yep. Oh, <laughs> I'm mad at this wall. <laughs> this wall specifically. I was hoping that I could just practice my skills on him. Nope. I want to do a finishing move with this thing. No spoilers, but you may want to be careful which walls you attack. Not here, but just in general. Huh? <laughs> there are yokai that pretend to be walls. Oh, shit. That's cool. Yeah. Like the fucking fire temple from yeah. uh, Ocarina yeah. of Time. All the ones I've met so far are optional, but they have secret areas behind them with stuff in them. What are you doing? There's a knight up there. Yeah. I think it's probably time to kill a knight. I agree. Oh, you. Good night, as uh. they say. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. It was, the joke was dumb. <laughs> it was good and you know it. Da, da, da. Look how much damage God, that those did. those knights are powerful. Yeah. Oof. Woof. Woof indeed. Who let the knights out? Not I. Who? 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 Did the Bahamut ever figure that out? I don't know if that question was ever definitively answered. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, <Whoa>! no! <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Use some medicine. Oh, that's a great helm. And a great breast. Or no, a breastplate. Uh, the, the breasts are probably great, too. Yeah, probably. <laughs> They're at least of higher quality. Are they? Hey, a better Runka. Another Runka. Oh, it is a better Runka. Yeah. Equip that shit. Where's my good Runka? And abilities. They also there have abilities, as you can see over there, which, you know, that's for the nitty gritty information. Where? Famili where? Over spe under special effects. Oh, okay. Quick attack key reduction, parry, parry critical. Key is stamina. Okay. Good enough. Yep. And later on, if you have certain abilities you like, you can merge weapons and keep abilities from some. Okay. Move them on to other ones. God, it's a great helm. I turned off display headgear, which you can turn oh, yeah. on if you want, but... <laughs> oh, I, you mean you have it off right now? Yeah, in the okay. settings. So that's why you have the great helm equipped, but you can't yeah. see it. I don't. I don't really care. So now you're. St I think I do that in Dragon Age too. Can you double check something really quick? Go back to that equipment. Uh, okay, you're good. See up there where it says equipment weight. Yeah. And it says fifty six point six percent. Yep. You want to keep that below seventy, or else you're going to get penalized. Okay. So like, I equip parts of heavy armor, but keep it below seventy, so I don't get gotcha. penalization. Okay. Uh. 
Boo! <laughs> he wasn't ready for you at all. No, he was not. <laughs> he most certainly was not. Not even a little bit. Nice. Nobody ever expects the English Inquisition. I believe when you die, the only thing you lose is your Amrita, which are your experience points, essentially. Mm -hmm. Like the souls and Dark Souls. Mm -hmm. And your Guardian William. Spirit, which you're just now getting. This way! Thank you, playful Koi Spirit. Oh, it is a Koi. That's what it looks like to... Whoa! Derek! Oi! Uh... <laughs> Oi now, Derek. Come on, then. Whoa! I, uh, I like this because I feel like it's a, a sidelong reference that's the type of style in, like, Bloodborne and Dark Souls. What do you mean? Like, the enemy style, like, oh, I'm a big old executioner with oh. an axe. Yeah. <laughs> a name that you, that is presented as if it's important, but you've surely never heard before. Woohoo! Aw, uh, speed wins the day, Derek. It does. Send Todd at me next. What about Chad? Chad. Chad's already dead. That's this guy, actually. Ah, it's you, Chad. <laughs> the man with the I don't like his blue eyes. I like everything else about him. Sorry. I think he gets less beardy when he goes to Japan. I, th I think he's got that prison beard right now. Oh, yeah. I w I'd, I'd have kept it if I were him. I think it works well for him. The secret of the stones dies with me. <clears throat> oh. Oh, nice, yeah. He knows the things. Let me show you what these stones can do, and I promise I'm not coming on to you. But if you're if you're open to it... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll discuss this as the night progresses. Not Derek! Uh, but I just... Aww, Mega Derek! I think the thing they were doing is like, ha, oh, this is a Dark Souls enemy, and this is a Neo enemy. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, I fuck you, Derek. William, focus your strength. Okay. That's my name. I think I'm doing that. God, it's like fighting Astaroth. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Whoa, God. Watch out. Oh, I'm good. You say that. There you go. You broke the stamina. Yeah. Now, living weapon, uh, circle and triangle. Why would I be able to press those at the same time? Because they're right next <laughs> oh, to each other. Oh, there we go. I thought they were different ones. No. My weapon's totally alive, even though I wasn't using this until just now. Well, she just joined you. I see. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you. You did it. My sword wears a dress. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, um, his facial expressions are very good. Ne uh, Williams? Yeah. I, I keep calling him Neo, but I don't think that name... <laughs> I don't believe that name is referring to him, but it could be. I was going to ask you if you knew what that meant. I, I believe it means benevolent king. Really? Yes. Huh. Um, but it is the... <gasps> no! It's the name of the guardian statues that are outside of Buddhist temples. Oh, okay. So, uh, in some ways, it could refer to Ieyasu, I guess. Mm -hmm. And in some ways, I could see it referring to William himself as, mm -hmm. the, you know, a guardian spirit. Yeah. No, they took my koi princess. Man, jumping into the water in plate mail is not a thing I would do. <laughs> it's no longer a choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, come on then, don't be a pussy! Hmm. Oh, he kept a feather. Yeah. Koi don't have feathers. I'll use this to write my suicide note. Aren't scales just fish feathers? They kind of are, yeah. <laughs> and I believe there's that story of a koi who jumps over the waterfall and then becomes a dragon. Probably. That's what Magikarp is based on. In oh, really? And yeah, that's cool. Carp. Oh God, I'm drowning. No, he's he's got renewed vigor to do something. Yeah, suddenly I feel quite vigorous. Anyway, which way's up? Oh God, it wasn't this way. It is what? I wonder how uh, because he was underwater. Oh, I see. Yeah. Came back to consciousness. He's I've heard stories about being disoriented underwater and people that like you know try to swim to the surface and they're just swimming down. Yeah. And uh, I can't imagine. Oh, the this is horror a, of that this kind is a of blocked scenario. scene. They're not going to be able to see anything. Really? No, I'm kidding. We're not oh. recording on for a PlayStation. <laughs> oh, okay. But if you're if you were streaming it, then yeah. And would what would the they problem. see? It would just cut to, this screen is blocked. The journey was not an enjoyable one. Yeah, and not only because you couldn't see it. <laughs> this doesn't look fun. Hey, five ships. The Nina, the Pinta, the this Santa actually, Marina, the fourth and the fifth. This actually is historically accurate. He left for Japan with five ships. 
Really? Yeah. And one of them ran into a drawn ship. <laughs> and he showed up with one. And he was one of the only survivors on it. Jeez. Yeah. What a goofball. Leaf to. Only Leaf to remained. Where were they going? Were Japan. they going to Japan? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think he was going on a trade. I mean, historically, I think he was going on a trading journey. And this he's going to. But he w it was his intent to reach Japan. He wasn't to, yeah. like. Okay. To get back his spirit waifu here. What awaited us in the Far East wasn't love, it was pornography. <laughs> the most exotic variety. Monsters and death and premature ejaculation and netorare and other similar things. Excuse me, what? I just picked a Japanese porn word. What is that? I don't understand. What is that? I don't know. I just know that it is something pornographic. Oh. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Like, comment, sorry and subscribe if you know <laughs> the <answer laughs> If you know <laughs> or are interested in. <laughs> All right, now you got to make some choices. Do I? Oh, I'm upgrading skill of some kind? Yeah, this is going to give you an attribute bonus. Oh, so it's not necessarily upgrading the skill of the weapon. Correct. It's just like, okay, body. <laughs> Why would I not want to upgrade my body? Let's see. Okay, we got dexterity, stamina, yep. body. Yep. Is that like constitution? Basically, it's kind of confusing because heart is like constitution, which is the sword. Okay. That ups your health, but also your resistance to things like poison and paralysis. This does? Yeah. Okay. Uh, skill, I forget. Fuck it. I, I forget. It has to do with bonuses for de like weapons, like two swords and guns. Um, body is your health and one other attribute. Okay. Um, well, this enables rangy sweeping attacks. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm obviously going to go with that. <clears throat> the sailor from the memoir seems to have spent quite some time in Zipangu and succeeded in keeping the company of samurai. He writes in detail of establishments in Zipangu called Dojo, where people, including samurai, congregate for instruction in the martial disciplines. Just reading the sailor's vivid accounts, I feel as though I'm there in the flesh, watching these warriors as they train. Strapping lads, sweat glistening on their perfected bodies, the samurai is master of many armaments and trains for combat in every imaginable scenario. If I were to use another weapon, which one would I choose? INTJ? ENFP? It's like the medieval Briggs Myers test. Yeah, I guess. Uh, this, because it's fucking awesome. They are cool. The memoir also asserts that the samurai are knowledgeable in the martial arts. First, they know which fighting stance to use in each situation, <coughs> high, mid, or low. Second, after each attack, they ready themselves for their next strike by focusing their KI, or inner energy. Third, once their KI is readied, the samurai can use purification techniques to rid their surroundings of malevolence. I know not how to explain it beyond the explanation I've just given, but I feel as though I have some innate ability to grasp all these concepts, and have experimented many times with each technique. <laughs> okay, I have no desire to read this one as well. That's fine. Uh, okay. He, he, no, oh, pick a guardian no, spirit. No, choose a guardian spirit. Kato? Isonade? Or Daibawashi? Well, you picked that one, I so did. I'm not going to pick that one. I picked it because it increases my evasive ability. Oh, yeah, well, that would be good. Let's see. Amplifies the ability of those in its protection to sense enemies. Okay. Strengthens the attacking power. Oh, uh, yeah, obvi. <clears throat> it's cool. I think that one takes a little longer to charge. Okay. So basically what you just chose is plus one body, plus one dexterity, plus one strength. It's not going to start you with the Spear and Kasuri Gama or anything like that. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's just building my portfolio. Correct. Uh, yes, you should yes. do it. Okay. <laughs> you should do it. Let's tutorialize or tutorial. It's uh, It talks about some of the game mechanics and it, I think it does a good job of teaching them before it throws you in. The it, dojo's a graining trown. <laughs> yeah, Whoops. a graining trown. <laughs> <laughs> you know the graining trend. You would go there yeah. if you want to trown some grain. <laughs> <laughs> Another long day of grounding train. <laughs> no, you just did it backwards <laughs> again. <laughs> trounding grain. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Whatever. Not important. Oh, now I'm Mitsurugi all of a sudden. Yeah, this is theoretically happening inside of his head after he... Oh, he's just daydreaming? Yeah. yeah. A wooden sword. I'll take that. Now equip it. It's just that stuff? Okay. Yep. Melee weapon one. There you go. Wooden sword. And now... You may proceed to the next. Excellent. You've learned how to take things. Quick attack, strong attack. Doesn't consume much key, but only causes light damage. Yeah, okay. And it lowers your guard as well. I don't need to play movie there. No. Whoa, hey. 
Why am I not using my... Because uh... you switch to your oh, off right. There, there we you go. go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what was that? That is your key blast. It's going to teach you about that later. Oh, okay. That's an important mechanic. Dunk. Dunk. Yeah, I killed a man. No, it was a wooden sword. I still killed him. <laughs> All right. He was like, I thought we were doing a training mission. Uh! Whatever you say, man. Lock on. Okay. And then switch target with the right thumbstick. Cool. You can do that. Where is he at? They're ninjas. You'll never know. Oh, no. Is there another target? Not yet. Does not look like it. <laughs> I don't think he's going to come towards you. That's what he thinks. He didn't. He still hasn't. Shing! I love the uh, chimes and per. Actually, most of the percussion that yeah. traditional Japanese music uses. Your tutorial's on the map up there. You can see the. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Waypoints to follow? Yep. Oh, no. Yep. You know how great I am at that. Uh. Historically? <laughs> Guard L1. Dodge X. There you okay, go. I feel bad attacking this guy. Yeah. He just kind of. He seems like a fuck up. Well, overall. come on then. Dunk. <laughs> but I can understand it. I feel like if I were a samurai, I'd be the one that's constantly fucking up. <laughs> like I'd have the red. Yeah. I'd have the red nose in the anime version. <laughs> you got it. But at a critical moment, you would sacrifice yourself and, like, you know, totally save the day. Yeah. It would be. A, it would be a moment of great pathos. Yeah. Or pathos? Pathos? I think, I think it's, it's pathos. Pathos? pathos? Okay. Uh, who knows? Switch stance. So it's R1 and then those buttons. Okay, let's see. That's R1. Yep. And then do I, I hold them or just press it and it switches to that stance? You hold R1 and then you press to switch to the stance. Yeah. Okay. High stance is for attack power. Mid stance is for defense. And low stance is good for dodging. Yep. Oh, and maintains your guard as you move. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> it theoretically does it. Okay, so I'm going to switch to high stance. Yes. Which I have done. This is pretty slow, but it's Yes, but quite it does powerful. a ton of damage. There are certain enemies that will stagger that high stance is really good on because mm -hmm. you can just lock them into their death. Enemies I that see. don't stagger, high stance is dumb because they will just attack your face in okay. <laughs> while you're trying to hit them. So what does it say? Mid stance is... Oh, I've got to do low stance yeah, low. now. Okay, so I've got low stance. Yep. Which, which maintains guard, I think Theoretically, they but I don't know what that means, because it doesn't actually stop me from getting hit. Well, let's see about that. Or maybe it said maintains your guard as you're attacking. It says okay, as, so you, as you move, but I think, it oh, just, okay. I think it means that it's fast enough that you can, like, you can switch to your guard from it pretty easily. Interesting. So that one was very fast. Yeah, but it does less damage. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got your mid-stance, which you're familiar with already, because you just did the whole last mission in it. Right. Mid stance, which I'm in now. Yep, and you can, you can switch on the fly too, which is nice. Oh, I see. Yep, that's cool. Yeah, and it's got a. Uh, whoop. Sorry, and sorry about the spears, guys. Sorry. The, the last one over there, our circle is sheathing your weapon. Oh, cool. Nice. Yep. The samurai sheath. And then eventually you can do some EI strikes with that, but you need to get the skills for it. Oh fuck yeah. R1 while blue lights gather around you after an attack. That Welcome to the your... main mechanic of this game. Ah, uh, okay. So once you're done with a combo, those things will swirl around you. Right as they gather into the circle like that and flash, press R1 and it'll give you some of your stamina back. Okay. So like, try attacking finding... right now. <laughs> okay, I see. Yeah, and then, there you go. And then it gives you some of your stamina back. And you can see how much you get back on your stamina bar up there. So is it supposed to be like right when I flash? Yeah. So you can see, watch your stamina bar. That's how I figured it out. See, it turns red and then blue. Once that blue fills up all the way, then you push R1. And then you get all that stamina back. I see. I forget to do it, but it is the main mechanic of this game. Gotcha. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> and eventually you get moves that. that like allow you to key blast while dodging as well. Oh, nice. Um, so that one's very helpful. Yokai Realm, another world born from the Yokai. When you are in the Yokai Realm, your key recovery speed is greatly reduced. Oh, great. Conversely, the powers of the Yokai themselves are enhanced there. Purify recovers the maximum amount of key from a successful key pulse in the Yokai Realm. It also cleanses the defilement of the Yokai Realm from your person, restoring you to normal. So, mm -hmm. 
You'll, you'll see when you get into combat there. Basically, you need to do a perfect key blast uh -huh. in their little unpurified zone, which he's going to do right there. Okay. So you go, if you go stand in it and use your key blast, uh -huh. right there, it purifies it. Oh. But be careful inside of it. I normally do one attack and then do it because inside of it, your stamina drain is much faster. I see. And yeah. certain enemies can keep dropping those yokai zones as you're fighting them, which is annoying. Okay, a wooden axe. That's cool. <laughs> I want a wooden axe. Where do you get that I shit? I don't know, but it has stances as well. All of your weapons do. Oh, fuck yes. Whoops, wrong button. There we go. Let's try some low stance, motherfucker. Yeah, and watch your stamina. Oh, right. Key blast. You're, you're, and your stamina drains much oh, faster. Oh, with the axe. Yeah. yeah. So the idea is, I think, short combos that you then key blast afterwards. Yeah. Okay. Oh, great. Just L2 and then R2 to shoot is basically what that says. Okay. And then there's different ammo. Holy shit. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff here. There's just a ton of ammo there for you to, to use. Now you just got to equip your, your bow and your rifle. Okay. Let's see. Ranged weapon one. The longbow. Ranged weapon two. The Tanagashima matchlock. Which is pretty cool. Well, let's try it then. Oops. Yep. Uh, so L2 to pull it out. And then you want to shoot. R2 is fire. Yeah, shoot the targets behind you. There's like scarecrows. Oh, there we go. And you can switch ammo with square or triangle. Okay. I'm not really showing my ability here. That's a pretty cool reload motion. Yeah. I think that one might, those ones might be for the bow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let me give that a shot then. Samurai longbow thing is pretty cool. Yeah. Ah, you are correct. God, these bullet immune scarecrows. You know how it is. I s die. These scarecrows <laughs> are kind of annoying to hit, <laughs> to be honest. Then you, they want you to use the match lock on the yokai over there. Oh, okay. I didn't even see him until now. Let's see. There we go. There you go. Like oh, I said, are you. So you want to try and get a headshot like that, mm -hmm. and then you just killed that guy. Yep. So now imagine in a level, if you can get a shot off on someone like this you can basically remove an entire enemy from when you have to deal with them. Yeah, totally. Which is hugely helpful. Mm -hmm. um, you get other things that are useful for pulling enemies because your ammo is really rare for that stuff. I see. So, uh, like, you can get a kunai or a shuriken oh, cool. for pulling enemies. Item shortcut. Okay. Spirit stones are like oh, the wait. souls in uh, Dark Souls. Okay. Where they are items that have Amrita in them. So you can break them to get Amrita. Okay. Um, which I would do near a shrine because that's where you level up. <clears throat> and when you die, you drop your Amrita. Uses up all your Amrita, but allows you to quit a mission. Wow, I don't know why that'd be useful, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, so I've got... There we go. That's stuff. There's a mechanic called Honor, and I'm not sure what it is, but I found an item that's <laughs> a, a, hiri a Hirakiri sword, which is, allows you to kill yourself, and you lose all your items, but you retain your Honor. Ah, okay. But I don't know what it does mechanically. So what this does is it gives you experience points, essentially, and it also fills up your living weapon gauge in the upper left-hand corner. Right, I see that now. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, living weapon. I think that might be the next thing it teaches you. Okay. Yep. You are correct. When the Guardian Spirit Amrita gauge is full, press those two buttons... While a living weapon is active, press those two buttons again. Changes the health gauge and key gauge into the living weapon gauge. Okay. Impervious to damage and your close combat attacks inflict more damage. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Okay, so it's just berserk mode, basically. Yes. Um, Whoop. And it's nice because you are invincible uh -huh. while you've got it. And it goes back up as you kill people. Oh, nice. Um, it's, yeah, I use it to stop from dying on really tough enemies, but, um... Oh, I can't change stances at the moment. Interesting. I think it's because the tutorial's over, but I don't know. Or is it because of the living weapon? Must have been the living weapon. Interesting. Well, we'll be back on the next episode... Sweet! ...of As I Play Dying. Awesome. Alright, bye. Let's go forward. Yeah.